Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Hasbro Gaming Diadora Made in Italy N9000 in the Monopoly colorway. So this pair released as part of a four pack of collaboration colorways between uh, Hasbro Gaming and Diadora, all of which took place on four different uh, Diadora Made in Italy silhouettes, all four based off four different Hasbro Gaming games. And I gotta say, this is definitely a dope collab. It released uh, during the end of 2021. That four pack collaboration was definitely eye-catching. All of the shoes were very loud and colorful, and it was really cool to see iconic board games get collaborations on high-quality sneakers. These are part of Diodora's Made in Italy line, and they feature high-quality suede, leathers, and nylons, and feature a variety of bright colors. So as usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe, as well as an on-feet look, as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, quality, and design of the overall shoe. Starting with the box, this N9000 Monopoly collaboration comes in a special co-branded Hasbro Gaming and Diadora branded box. The lid consists of four different colors and feature the four game titles that are present on the four different collaboration shoes. And on the sides you get more branding as well as different colors from both Diadora and Hasbro Gaming. And on this side you get special Monopoly graphics. The shoes come with this interesting Diadora black and blue hang tag that kind of has a ruler on top of it. The coolest extra featured in this collaboration has has got to be this miniature co-branded Monopoly game. As you can see, it both has the Monopoly and Diodor branding, and ex it's exactly what it is. It's a miniature version of a playable Monopoly game. Uh, I can't really tilt it too far, but you get miniature Monopoly money, you get game pieces, even got a little die, as well as an entire game board and game pieces. It's definitely a dope addition to an already high quality collaboration. Starting with the toe box of the shoe, the mug art of the shoe is made out of some blue suede. The middle of the toe box is made out of light gray suede that's also perforated and at the top of the toe box you get a small panel of light green suede. Moving towards the middle of the shoe you get more panels of that blue suede. Uh, continuation of that light green suede. Uh, the lace eyelets are made out of that light green suede and the very top lace eyelet is made out of an orange plastic and in the very middle of the shoe you get a big panel of cream nylon and the Diodora logo is actually in a red leather, which is very soft and high quality. Moving towards the ankle area, you get a continuation of that cream nylon, a continuation of that red leather, more panels of that green suede, and at the heel of the shoe, you get a big panel of gray suede, and at the very back, you get the Monopoly logo in a brick color, as well as it being embroidered on in white, and that is the right shoe. On the left shoe, you actually have the iconic Monopoly Go symbol, uh, embroidered on in black and red. At the top of the heel area, you get a small panel of yellow suede that's a little more on the hairy side, as well as a small panel of smooth blue suede. And the medial side of the shoe is the same as the lateral side of the shoe in terms of colors and materials. The shoes come with one set of flat white laces, and those laces weave on top of a cream nylon tongue, and at the very top of the tongue, you get a panel of gray suede with Diodora Made in Italy branding embroidered on in orange. The back of the tongue and the ankle lining of the shoe are made out of a smooth off-white leather material. The shoes come with a rubberized foam insole that is topped with that same off-white leather, and it has Diodora branding printed on in gray, as well as the name of the designer of this collaboration. Moving on towards the midsole of the shoe, the midsole is mostly made out of a cream white foam material. You get Diodora branding, as well as some random patterns, as well as pops of blue yellow, and red at the front and back and sides of the shoe. And lastly, moving on towards the outsole of the shoe, you get the standard N9000 outsole with the standard traction pattern in an off-white rubber. So now that the overview of the shoe's out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet.
So as for sizing, I was able to find these in my true size 9.5, but after wearing them around, they definitely fit a little big, so I'd say it's safe to go down half a size. Uh, my other pair of N9000s that were also made in Italy, I got in a size 9, uh, fit me well in that size. So for me, I feel like the best fit would be going down half a size, but as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on or another pair of made in Italy N9000s on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that since everyone's feet are different. For my three factor comfort rating for the Diodora N9000, I give it a 4 out of 10 for softness, a 7 out of 10 for firmness, and a 5 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. The Diodora N9000 is not that comfortable of a shoe. It's okay for lifestyle wear, but even then, there are a lot more comfortable models out there for lifestyle wear. I feel like the midsole is rather stiff on feet, and there's very little softness and cushioning to back it up. And in terms of the midsole shape, it's pretty average for a runner. I mean, it's not the worst midsole shape in the world but also isn't the most supportive for your feet. But then again, you don't really buy N9000s for the comfort. You usually buy it for the high quality materials and dope colorways. Speaking of quality, I gotta say this collaboration is excellent. The quality of all the materials utilized is amazing. The Italian suede and leathers feel excellent. The nylon also feels really solid in hand as well. It's overall a really well put together shoe. Uh, I had no craftsmanship issues on this pair either. Uh, the only thing about Diodora made in Italy is that they usually have the price to match that quality. Most of their Italian made shoes, or at least in terms of the runners, retail for over $200, so they are definitely not a cheap shoe by any means. But I managed to grab this pair used uh, for around $130 on eBay, so that was definitely a steal. Overall, I'm really satisfied with my pickup of the N9000 Monopoly collaboration. I've had my eye on the Diodora made in Italy uh, Hasbro collaboration for a while, back when it came out during late 2021. I'm surprised it's actually this old at this point. I mean, time really flies, I guess, but I'm really happy to add this pair to my collection. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon backers, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.